So today we are at Roding Park and the Chaffee Zoo in Fresno, California. And uh, we had our event called the Zoo Amazing Race Walk and Roll um, here at Roding Park. And we walked into the zoo as part of our amazing race. So one of the reasons that we chose to be at Roding Park in the Chaffee Zoo today is for the purpose of bringing more awareness to the community about families who have a child affected by disability. Huntington's disease is a, is a genetic disease, meaning that you inherit it from one of your parents. In David's case, he inherited it from his birth mother. He's adopted. It's a brain disease that is also degenerative, which means that um, it continues to get worse, and it is always terminal. So Huntington's definitely affects your cognitive ability. Um, and David was, a, was, a, was and is a smart guy. Um, he had a 4.0 in college, multiple multiple semesters. Like that's impressive. But over time, it's taken away his. Um, our conversations aren't just aren't the same. We're not talking about um, deep stuff. We're talking about like, hey, this was funny, um, because just Huntington's has stolen that from him. My reaction to David's diagnosis. Uh, actually, I was I was really upset. Um, I was more upset with God because uh, I remember the night before uh, I, I was going to find out his, his his diagnosis. I remember praying to God and saying, you know, if you if you could make him not have this disease, um, I would attend church more. I would do be a better person. Um, but I think after finding out that he had this disease, I felt betrayed in a way, um, and that and that lasted for a while um, up until the point where I started realizing that David's disease was more of a blessing in disguise. Living with a, with a life-changing uh, disability definitely shapes your day-to-day -day life in a way that I don't know that I would be able to deal with with grace, and David's been able to do that. Uh, so definitely just being able, seeing someone like David being able to, um, to roll with the punches of incredible life change like that uh, is definitely really inspiring. Um, I got this tattoo. Uh, it says David on this side, and then it says Hope on the reverse side. Um, I got this tattoo because when I think of my brother David, I, it's a reminder first of all because it says his name, and then when I think of that tattoo, think of that name, um, it brings hope for me. Uh, hope that maybe he could be healed, um, and hope that soon he won't have to suffer anymore. Um, and the reason I got it on my right arm is because my right arm is my dominant arm. It's my strongest arm. Um, I use it the most, so therefore I'm, I'm being reminded constantly every single day when I see, when I use my arm um, and when I see his name that I can, I can push through whatever I'm trying to push through. David's life right now, it in a way it makes my life seem like all the problems that I was once facing or all the problems I still face or still go through now um, aren't problems. Um, everything that I thought was a challenge, everything that I thought was hard, um, I look at my brother's life, I look at David's life, and I realize this is nothing compared to what David goes through um, on a daily basis. Because other people who are disabled are with me. Um, and I want to see the community do whatever the community can uh, to show David that we support him. Um, and I, I guess it does impact me in a way where when I see that, I'm just overjoyed. Uh, but I, I more so want to see that it impacts David um, to a point where he can see that we all support him. 